Hello YouTube. I just got in my Osho Zen Tarot, and hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, Osho. Um, it seems pretty easy, O-S-H-O, -O, but you never know about these things. Um, anyway, I just received it in the mail. Like, it actually just came to my door, and <laughs> the only thing I've done to it so far is I took off the plastic seal. It was wrapped in plastic, and I've never done an unboxing video before, so... You know, please forgive me if this is not perfect, but this is what the box looks like. And you can kind of see it's relatively the size of my hand. And it's very beautiful. From what I know about the cards, I have a friend who has the cards and I've been wanting them for a while. Um, well, from what I know is they're kind of, they're tarot, they're considered tarot because they are kind of, based on, you know, the rider weight system, but yet they're so very different that I, I personally almost put them in the Oracle deck um, category. So we're going to open them up and we're going to kind of look at it. Here's the box, the side, the back. I'm not going to read all that to you. It's from, all illustrated by Madiva Padma, if you can see that. And I, I personally, I have seen the cards before. Like I said, I have a friend who has the deck. And I love the artwork. Okay, so this looks like the booklet. And it's still in plastic. I haven't opened that. I'll, I guess I can go ahead and open that. Maybe I'll pick that off screen. <laughs> Maybe make it a little easier. I should have brought scissors up. I thought I was done with the plastic part. Okay, yeah, I had to resort to teeth. Okay. And the cards look like they're, they're probably in plastic, too. <laughs> Wonderful! Anyway, we're getting it. Okay. So, here's the book. I'm going to kind of open it up and flip through it for you. Like I said, this is my first time going through the book. Contents. Looks quite lengthy. Talks about the Minor Arcana a bunch. An introduction. How to play the Transcendental. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. <laughs> okay. You can read that yourself, okay? It's a game of Zen. So it's, it's, I guess, I don't know, I'm a little confused. I guess this can be played like a game. But, um, yeah, I don't know. My friend never plays it like a game. She uses it for divination. Then it goes into the cards. And I'm just going to skip through a little bit. goes from, yeah, it just goes through all the cards. And the cards have different names than the Rider Waite cards do, and we'll get into that. So anyway, this is a very lengthy book, even though it's kind of smaller. It's like the size of my hand again. Um, let's go ahead and get into the cards so I can show you. I won't show you every single card, but I will show you a good little portion. So you get an idea of the artwork, of um, the system itself how the cards are named, and I'm going to move this box here. Okay, so this is what the back of it looks like. I don't know, it almost reminds me of kind of like either some kind of musical bar or some kind of sloppy handwriting. <laughs> I'm not real sure what that's supposed to be. If you know what that, if, the, if it's supposed to be anything in specific, please let me know because I don't know, but it is pretty. Okay, and it's it's really different. All right, so, oh, they're getting away from me. Now, the size of the cards, they're not real big. And, of course, like I, like I said, I knew I know somebody who has this deck, so I knew that they wouldn't be, like, a really big card. But they're not really small either. This is not what I would call a mini deck. So, I mean, it's just... The box was, like, the size of my hand, so this is obviously... It's a little smaller than my hand. I'm not sure what I could get to compare in size. 
maybe one of my other decks. Let me see here. I'm just grabbing what I have available. Okay. So here is a big card. This is what I call a big card anyway from the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. And that's the size of it. And this is the size of the Osho Zen. So it's quite smaller. So, but I do, I like how it's rounded at the edges. I like that there's a border and it's, the card stock is pretty well. It's not as thick as my Oracle deck is, my Wisdom of Avalon, my, I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of like a gold lining on the edges of that deck which I love this one doesn't have anything like that but it's not like really flimsy but it's not like the thickest cards I've ever held either it's kind of like a medium card stock there is what I would call it the cards are very smooth they're not grainy they have a little bit of shine to them if you can see that I don't know you can't really yeah you can see Kind of see the shine on the back. Okay, so this is consciousness. And I'm not an expert at reading these cards yet. I've thumbed through them. I've appreciated their artwork. But I have never tried to div divinate or read with these cards before. The Fool, that's kind of self-explanatory. Inner Voice. The Rebel. Breakthrough, Beyond Illusion, and um, I really wanted this deck um, really to kind of meditate with or do my own divination with. I, I'm not sure if I'll use it on clients or not. I mean, maybe after I get more used to it and get to know it better. Um, then maybe I'll change my mind. But for now, I think this will just be for my own personal use. Um, kind of to meditate on or to focus on. I really like that one. To me, I mean, that that's, that's the wheel. It says change, but it's the wheel. Some of these are really obvious um, of where the... Um, inspiration came from but some of them are not so obvious and I think that's where the book will come in really handy when it comes to reading these and you know I also like that it's busy but it's not so busy that you cannot get your own sense of intuition in there you know sometimes when there some I like cards that kind of leave room for your own feelings and your own interpretations also I kind of appreciate them both, you know, simplistic cards and really busy um, cards that are really full with explanation. And just for the sake of time, I'll just kind of skip through a little bit. To me, that's the Nine of Swords. And there are 79 cards um, in the deck. So, yeah, and at the bottom it does say um, the Transcendental Game of Zen. There, I said the word finally. I knew I could do it. Okay, you can probably hear my kids downstairs. Um, to me, that's maybe the either the Ten of Swords, maybe the Four of Swords. I'm not sure. Like I said, some of these are really easy to tell where the inspiration came from with the Rider Waite Tarot, and some of them are not. And they have these little symbols down here at the bottom that are different. I'm sure... I mean, I'm not positive at this point, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, they mean they're um, in short for the elements of fire, water, um, air, and 
and earth, but then some of them have numbers. So there's a little more into it. Than, this may be like a major arcana card. Maybe that's what that is. Um, here's strength, but it says conditioning. But I'm pretty sure that's the strength card with the lion. And the lovers, and it's called the lovers. And you, I found this deck on Amazon. A lot of the decks that I wanted, I, I was having a difficult time finding, but um, then I remembered, hey, you know, I remember that deck, and I, I really liked it, so I went ahead and bought it. And I, don't quote me on the price, but I don't think it was any more than $30. I don't think it was that much. I think it was between $20 and $30, like maybe $21 with some tax in there. So, um, it's fair, it's a fairly cheap deck and, um, it's somewhat of a high quality deck for the price. I mean, you're getting a lot for a little, I mean, some decks are so expensive. You're like, oh, they better be good. <laughs> you know, but this one, I'm, I'm really pleased considering I only spent $21 from Amazon to get this. And there may be other places out there to buy this deck. I'm just not aware of them. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, it just goes on and on. They're beautiful. There's so many to look through. And I'm going to spend my day today, hopefully, um, going through them and and reading the book and all that good stuff. So I hope that you liked that unboxing video. Um, like I said, this is my first one that I've ever done. So, you know, give me little props on that. If you have any questions about the deck, um, please ask me in the comments below. I will respond back to you. Um, if you want me to, I don't know, go through, if I missed out something, you know, I know I touched on the cardstock and the feel of the cards. Ooh. Look at that card. No, no, nothingness. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just blank. I love that. I love that. So, yeah, if I missed out on telling you anything about the cards, please let me know in the comments below, and I will try. Well, I will. I will definitely get back to you on that. And um, watch for um, maybe more videos. I ordered another one called the Spellcaster's Tarot, and... Um, if I have time, I'll also do an unboxing of that one when it comes in. So that that's it for this video, and hopefully you liked it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because I do the, um, the monthly tarot readings for y'all. If you haven't seen those, please check them out. And until next time, God bless.